is Ozark's Fox AM. Well, good morning. Guess what day it is? It's Monday. Welcome to Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Ray. And I'm Kelly Smith. I wanted to hear you do that in Carol Baskins. That's how it sounded oh. like it should be. Well, hey there, cool cats and kittens. Guess what day it is? It's Monday. It's Monday. Hello. Happy Monday, y'all. So, by the way, I'm gonna, I, I didn't know I was going to talk like Carol Baskin today, but there was a story about her reacting to a music video. She's still not in jail? No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> We're praying. She, somebody made, oh, I can't remember the artist now. I'm going blank, but you just oh. reminded me of this. Some artist made a music video, and they featured Carol Baskin, and Carol Baskin, like, raked it over the coals this weekend, like, how dare you do this to me, blah, blah, oh, blah. Oh, really? Oh, she wasn't it's really a parody it's in a the, parody. Yeah, okay. It's a parody. She, she didn't uh, and the, endorse it. No, the singer was, like, wearing all leopard, you know, animal print like Carol does. Was she singing like Carol? I don't Would think sing? so. I mean, like, you'd think she'd sing? I don't, I don't think know. so. But I can't <laughs> wait for Tiger King 2, because you know it's coming. It, you know it's coming. It, well, maybe. No, I've heard it is. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah, sure. I've heard. Oh, yeah. And then also they're making the movie. Is Joe about in it. it? In prison. I, well, that's what I'm saying. Prison How can interviews. He do it? That's all we got. How can he do it? Through prison interviews on the uh, phone. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, I do well, want I, to give you everybody an update because I'm so. Now, listen, I don't mean to toot the horn, but. Boop, 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 I'm so proud of what I got accomplished this weekend. Okay, very good. I wanted to share with the viewers because you know I'm going through a massive, massive, massive mm -hmm. renovation at my house. Yes. And I finally installed the final set of French doors this weekend. Oh, there I were, love French doors. There were five sets of French doors total. Okay. And I finally got, so let me show you the picture of All the right. before. So this is a window Isn't that I soul? sent this. Did Marlo get it? Maybe he didn't. Okay. Uh, here is, okay. This is a small, not a small, it's, it's a sitting room I'm not using. All I'm right. turning it into the master suite. Okay. On the other side is a two-car garage that I'm using that's going to be the master bathroom, master closet. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I've always wanted to have French doors in the bedroom that lead out to the deck. And I finished yes. it. Here is the after. I put the French doors in this weekend. Oh, now, oh, that looks beautiful. I'll have access to the new deck from my bedroom. And the deck's not built yet, or it is? Oh, the deck is finished. Okay. The there, deck, and it got, there. it got some masonry on the lower level. Uh, last week it got finished. It's... It's and amazing. I'll tell you what, to take uh, the property that you had and, and revamp and bust out walls and stuff, and when it's finished, how awesome will that be? It's going to be amazing. And so that was on Saturday. Yeah. Then on Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, on my front porch, I want to vault the ceilings on the front porch. Okay. Well, when we took off the plywood, there was a giant 1,500-pound uh, metal beam. Was that a surprise? Ish. Yeah. And it was laying across the joists. Just laying there, not being supportive. Oh. Because the, the old homeowners were going to extend the front. Oh. It was just laying there on these two by fours, mind you, which are not the structurally two by fours. You need at least two by eights okay. for these. Anyway, Glad so you found it. I, I found it. I wanted to vault it. I got a bid for somebody to remove it. It was going to be $2,000. Oh, $2,000? So, Kelly, here's what I did for $200. Take a look at this video. I, sent, I, I said, I got to take matters in my own hands. Here's the side of my house. And a pickup truck. All I needed was a pickup, a tow strap, what? and a sawzall. Look at ah, us. Uh, I'll tell you what, ingenuity there. You know, to save money, I had can, to do you it. You can come up with anything, right? This is the heaviest beam ever. Oh, wait for it. Here it goes. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, wow. And there it goes. There it goes. I'll tell you what. That's country living right there. I, I posted and I said, this is Ozark's ingenuity right here. Old fashioned That's what ingenuity. I said. I'm like, yeah. I, Act, when you have to save money, a lot of memory or a lot of brain power comes into how you can do it. And I'm proud of you for that. Thank you. I was Now, to what death. are you going to do with that $1,800? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to sell the beam because several people have said, I want that beam. I need it. So mm -hmm. I didn't know. Iron and metal is big. Yeah. And I actually have the previous homeowner left a giant pile of it oh. on my property. Wow. That's like, that's like change, finding gold. I'm going to sell it for the renovation. You are a hillbilly. I am. I'm hearing the Clampett song coming back in my head. I'm <laughs> proud of it. That's fantastic. I think that's great. I'm just happy it's out and I can vault the ceilings on my front porch. It's going to be amazing. I love that. When it's done. I like to salvage things and you're actually making money off stuff too. Save Good for you, Jeremy. All right. I've, well, let's, Joe, what do you think about that? I have so many comments right now. <laughs> I, I, He's like two moves away from becoming an oil tycoon, I yeah. feel like, right? <laughs> exactly. That house is going to be on oil. And yeah, I know. Exactly. Right? <laughs> And what'd you say you needed for that? 
Just a, a truck. Uh, a truck. And a strap. A tow strap. Yeah. yeah. And a sawzall. Because I had to cut a hole in the side of the house. And a cameraman. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and I set it up on my tripod, actually. Ah, yes, I was going to say, actually, this guy's got TV experience. He I knows this big project. Like, he knows he's going to wow, record this, right? That was scary, though, I bet. It was scary. And the thing is, I said, I'm going to record this, not knowing the outcome. Well, I know. Because yeah. that could have been even better TV. <laughs> that's well, true. That's true. <laughs> We're let glad me, it wasn't. Let me, all right, so you got these French doors. Why don't you enter this contest, and you can walk right on out to your natural light beer dorm room. <laughs> you like this at all? <laughs> all right, like. Weird segue, but stick with me here. See that? What you see on your screen right now is a natified mobile dorm unit. Natural light, of course, the beer made by Anheuser-Busch there. They're giving away, because a lot of colleges are going virtual. They want kids to still have the dorm experience. So if you sign up, you can win this dorm room that's mobile, but it comes with a mini fridge, flat screen TV, Wi Fi, and some pink lawn flamingos. And also, <laughs> apparently, what they consider a semester's worth of beer, of natural light beer. Jeremy so, doesn't need the flamingos. He's already got those. I got those. Do you? I yeah. do. I was going to say, I didn't think you'd like anything in there right now, but well, you have until August 18th. So if there's any of you undergrads or grad students, you got to be a college oh, guy there to, you go. to enter. All right. I think it's not too bad, right? College students care about the beer. They care about that. They do. I so, Joe, I just got to say, I, I, did, I never read their stories. I like to be surprised. Yeah. But I saw in our rundown, it said, like, natty dorm room. <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking, ooh, this is going to be like a natural dorm room with, like, natural <laughs> elements natty and dorm moss. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't think natty light the beer. <laughs> Last thing that uh, crossed my mind, Joe. A lot of college oh. kids put that beer down. So, yeah. I thought maybe they left out the S, nasty dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's more what you this think of, right? This Kelly, also I think I'm you sorry. could handle Natty Light because it just tastes like uh Wa like, like nothing. water, uh, yeah. like nothing. Dirty, dirty water. I would yeah. be okay with that. It's just dirty water. <laughs> that would be okay. <laughs> better, better than beer. Okay. I hope exactly they're not right. a sponsor. Sorry. <laughs> Squeeze some lime in there, it's all good. All right, yeah, you can spruce it up that way. I'm yeah. just no saying, that is not good. Anyway, okay, I, I want to tell you this. When I was in the backyard yesterday, Elisa Rafa removing that beam, I looked over to my forest, and I swear I could see the humidity. It was that humid oh, yesterday. Yeah. How is the weather looking, Elisa? Yeah, it's going to stay pretty hot and humid out there today. 